Yo, what's up guys? Today, I'm gonna bring you the best overpowered, most broken gun in Warzone today. That's gonna be the loadout for the MAC-10 from Black Ops Cold War. First things first, before we get started, make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoy this video at any time, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Super close to 1K subscribers, so if you guys can help me get there, that would be so, so awesome. But let's get right into this loadout. For the MAC-10, first attachment we're gonna be choosing is going to be a muzzle. The muzzle we're gonna be using is going to be the Agency Suppressor. It recently got updated to where now it is like the Monolithic Suppressor from the Modern Warfare guns. So it's gonna be pretty much the same ones just for the Black Ops Cold Wars guns. So, Agency Suppressor, you're gonna get plus sound suppression and then plus damage range, which is definitely the big pro here. For the con, you're gonna get aim down sight speed and then aim walking steadiness taken away, but it's a very, very, very little chunk. So overall, I don't think it's gonna make too big of a difference here using this gun. I think the damage range is definitely gonna be the biggest positive in this attachment. The next attachment here is going to be the barrel. And the barrel we're actually gonna be choosing is going to be the 5.3 inch extended. It's gonna be the first barrel you unlock in this list. The reason I'm choosing this one is because I've been doing a lot of research on who's been using what, and a lot of the pro and more popular streamers are ended up using this barrel, uh, even though they have all the other attachments unlocked. So I'm sure the bullet velocity on this is going to be absolutely huge. It actually, in the range bar, it does give you a big chunk here. So I'm assuming the bullet velocity is gonna increase your range a lot more than normal. Also, the other task force barrel at the very bottom takes away a lot of your ammo, vertical recoil, and horizontal recoil, which those negatives on this short to medium range SMG would not be very good. So that's why we're gonna go with the 5.3 inch extended barrel. For the third attachment on the MAC-10, we're actually gonna be choosing the foregrip. And the only thing that is going to be on this one is going to be a pro for horizontal recoil control. Like I said before, this is an SMG. It's very, very fast firing. You wanna make sure that your aim is on point. This one is absolutely perfect for this gun. Attachment number four is gonna be for the ammunition slot. Which this one we're gonna be choosing the Salvo 53 round fast mag. This one's gonna give you a bunch of pros. You're gonna have magazine ammo capacity, reload quickness, max starting ammo, and ammo capacity overall. The only con is going to be down sight time, which it only takes away just, just a little bit. So this attachment is very, very good. You're gonna have a lot of ammo to use. The more ammo you have, the more people you can kill in one clip. Plus, reloading quickly, obviously, is definitely a pro, especially if you're getting into a lot of gunfights altogether. Finally, for the last attachment on the MAC-10, we're gonna be using a stock, and that is going to be the wire stock. It's going to give you sprint to fire time, which then again, if you're running around with this weapon, you wanna be able to aim down sights at an opponent very, very quickly, especially if they're kind of medium range-ish. This gun will definitely take care of that, especially with the other attachments we've done before. That helps with the recoil, but sprint to fire time is still very, very important, which is why we're gonna be running the wire stock. Other than that, I'm gonna leave you with some gameplay of me using this gun, absolutely tearing it up. This gun is very, very fun to use, and it's extremely overpowered and broken at the moment. I'm sure eventually it will be nerfed. So I would say if you're gonna use it, now would be the time to use it before it gets nerfed into the ground. But other than that, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you drop a like, make sure you subscribe if you're new, I'm trying to get to the goal for 1K subs. So if you guys can help me get there, that would be absolutely fantastic. And if you guys want to see another gun load out, comment down below what you want to see. I'm also going to be doing more multiplayer and zombies weapons as well. Eventually, I'm just having a lot of fun with Warzone lately. I haven't had much fun with Warzone uh, in the past couple months. So this is really, really enjoyable for me. But let me know what you guys want to see. But other than that, like I said, going to leave you some gameplay. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.
Body armor here. Yes, I need it. Allied must strike inbound. I'll draw. Let's head to that vehicle. Mark on the grid, pound. This is Striker 3 1, good copy. Strike in back.
Contact front. Enemy here. Enemy here. Enemy here. 